support for the little girl continues, not only for the five year old, but for her family. News Channel 11's Bianca Murray spoke with congregation members at the church the Wells attend and learn more about how they're helping the family get through a very challenging time. The pastor at the Kingsport Seventh Day Adventist Church told me yesterday that the Wells family, as well as several church members, have received what he called hateful messages on social media. He says the church is banding together to support the family while Summer remains missing. We know each other fairly well, and for someone like uh, Summer Wells to be in the father's opinion to be abducted like that is just heartbreaking. We're hoping that uh, there's a miraculous intervention. A church of less than 200 people, Pastor David Ryder refers to his congregation as a family. So for one of his flock to disappear, he says his family is drawing near. A lot of the help that they need is that type of emotional support, you know, having the prayer vigils. And you can imagine the kind of ups and downs that they're going through. And they have some of these, to just to be able to pick the phone up and text and have a response or pick the phone up and call and have a response. He says the family is struggling to cope. They're already going through a horrible time. Can you imagine? That's the most. Horrible thing that can happen to a person is, is to have their child abducted. You know, and they're going through this, and this is the depression and the shock and not knowing. Is she safe? Is she being harmed? What's happening to her? You know, it's very difficult for the parents. Summer's Sabbath school teacher, Robin Lane, tells me she's in constant contact with Candace Bly, Summer's mom. She looked like she was really hurting, and I just offered her a word of encouragement. And I have told her this from the beginning, that with each day that passes, I get more and more hopeful. I'm not just saying that because I want to be a positive, uplifting person. People think I'm a real positive person. I'm a realistic person as well. I believe in miracles, and I do believe that God is going to reveal where she is. I believe she will be delivered. The church members I spoke with asked the public to pray for the Wells family and pray for the safe return of five-year-old Summer Wells.